Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss a new class, QList Widget class. Here is our simple dialog application, which I just create empty and call my Qt test. So today's example, we are going to do similar as the previous video. So we create a line editor. Here, for input our directory path. And we use a list widget. There's two list control here. The first is called a list view and another is called a list widget. So this one is list view is a, a little complicated. So we're using this one to demonstrate for how list widget class is using. So we create this control, which we're going to use for display all the subdirectory and files of the directory we input at the line editor. So now we need a push button. We call the go to. Okay, so we close this. And uh, now let's go back to the dialog CPP. So as a preview video, we start from home directory. So it's going to say line editor set text which is home directory from QDIR class QDIR which is called a home path. And this is the starting with starting. And then we say it's go to back design. We say after we click this, we're going to list from this list widget. So we right click here, we go to slot, we say it's clicked, it's okay. Then we got this method on push button clicked. So in order to save in time in time. We just uh, making a copy from previous class, previous videos uh, example, and uh, we just copy to here to my on push button clicked. We do the exact same thing. We first clean the list widget, and then we get the current pass from the line editor, and we instantialize our Q D I R object called my QDIR and uh, so here we test if a directory exists we do something if a directory not exists we're going to show some message we use MESS messaging box and there's a warning message box which uses this warning message box to show if directory not exist so we call this 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 method needs three parameter, and the title second is the title. We call it my warning, and the third one is what messenger we're going to warning. We call it D I R E C T O R Y directory does not exist. So if not exist. If a director exists, what we do, we say we go to use the QDIR method, get the list of the paths and the files under that directory, right? And so we go to use file info similar as a info list which was I call my list.
something typing wrong, sorry. List my list equal my directory dot enter info list. That's a similar as what we get from yes a previous video, and we got for each loop, and it's a Q file info. We call the M item and uh, from the container which is uh, my list so for each file info what we do And my Q star, which equal dot absolutely pass. It's exactly the same as what we did yesterday. to see not typing error we make. so and to do that we add one thing more so if is directory and we try to see my q star equal add one thing forward slash at the end, so we are trying to. So now we can use the UI list widget add item, which add this item. It's a We add this item to my list and then we are going to down so if so let's see what's going on let's save it's building so far looks everything green Oh, now it's come out. So this one's the home directory. We click go to, so we got all the sub there. So we say with a folder slash, we know there are sub directory. There's this is a file. There's no folder slash. That's okay. Great. So now we try to do, if we double click any sub directory, we want to put this new sub di sub directory to the here as a new input of directory and then refresh this with a new subdirect and the files of new subdirectory we double clicked. So what we how we do we go to the design we right click on this uh, list of widget we say go to slot and uh, there's a lot of a signal here there's a one called the item double clicked so we say double clicked it's like okay so now we got a new method called on list widget item double clicked so this item is the item with the one we double clicked so what we are going to do as we said first uh, we're going to reset the text with with the text of this item Text. So we reset the line editor text with the new text, which from the item we double clicked. And we are going to do is for this on button clicked. So we will, then we try to refresh our list widget. So let's, let's see what can we do. It's like oh. 
say for all. Now let's see. Building, building, building. For now we got this one. So we have started from home directory. We click go to, we come here. Now we double click a sub directory test. We double click and we got a new one. So we come back, we double click a home directory, we come back. So we go. So if we go to the sub directory, so this test the directory, we have one, two, three, four file. So if we double click one of a file, so they come down message warning my warning message is a directory does not exist. Okay. So let's go back. So let's uh, go back and then we click a directory. So we got a new directory. So if we click some file, they come up our warning message. This is Hui. Thanks for watching my video. Hope this video enjoyable and uh, it's going to be great to have your feedback.